Good morning, John McKiernan. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Um, thanks for making some time. We're going to talk a little bit about Discussion Festival today, uh, which is starting up again for season two on Tuesday, the 21st of September. Very exciting. Um, for those that haven't already heard about Discussion Festival or don't know you, can you give us a, a brief introduction to yourself and the festival and explain how it works? Hello, well, my name's John. Thanks to Ali for having me. John McKiernan, founder of uh, Platform 7 Events and uh, the Discussion Festival. And uh, yeah, so it came off the back of some research I was developing around the Fourth Industrial Revolution mm. and uh, its impact on people outside the big cities. Mm. Uh, gonna was going to open a, a venue, but that got scuppered by the pandemic. Mm. And then uh, part of the venue was going to be interactive with lots of different technologies. And then as I couldn't open, I had to look for a reverse way of doing it. And then uh, found that there was lots of different alternatives to Zoom, probably about 50 out there actually, mm. uh, even though I already knew about Zoom. And then I realised watching friends in between the lockdowns on their Zoom calls and their team meets and all that, that this is just bonkers, the mm. way they're trying to work. It doesn't work. Mm. Um, but then what would work? So I decided to have an experimental event called the Discussion Festival. And it grew from there, really. Yeah, and it did certainly grow. Um, you came up with the idea for the Discussion Festival. Um, well, it, it sounds like an amalgamation of work over the last few years. But the beginning of 2021, that was the time to launch it. Uh, and it was during the third uh, national pandemic lockdown in, in the UK. That's right. Mm, that's correct. It started in February. And then we end up having 21 every week, we have 21 wow. uh, events. And then uh, about 500 people came through the doors, I had about 150 table topics. And uh, yeah, it was really, it just, people just loved it. It felt like a bit like being in a bar, mm. really. I used to have bars. And I think my event experience running festivals, events, bars for many years, I think all came together really, and uh, and that's what it, it feels, and it feels like, and that's what exactly what the experience is like. Yes, I mean that's where we're meeting here this morning. We're in the the, the lounge uh, where the discussion festival is hosted. Um, it's the venue for the weekly festival. Um, it's quite different to a lot of other online meeting spaces. So I'm I'm just moving moving us around the um, the face here. We've got different tables. Uh, you can scroll over a table and join a table. If you hover over a chair and you can pull it out for yourself and take a chair. Um, can you kind of tell us a little bit about the, the kind of the space? And you mentioned you'd run bars in the past. Is, is that kind of something that was um, part of the concept? Yeah, definitely. So how do people communicate? That's the key. Mm -hmm. How do people talk to each other? How do people interact? People have been trying to fit their squeeze shoe box, shoe horn, sorry, their event in mm. Zoom. It doesn't work. You need to have, um, your platform needs to fit the event, uh, not the other way around. You mm. don't need to be squeezing your event into there. And basically, we have, in the fourth portal under the marquee, we have about 12 different platforms. All right. Um, so they're all different. This one, this particular one, fit, it, fit fits the discussion festival very well and it just allows people just to hop around and you'll see somewhere written there on your screen it would say yeah like Encu I encourage people to hop around mm. and uh, leave one table and join another because it creates a dynamic experience and it's a bit like you get up go to the loo in a bar or in a cafe or you go and go to the or go and buy some new drinks and you meet someone at the bar while you're buying the drinks you mm. talk to the staff at the counter you bring the drinks back, someone then joins your table randomly, and so the, your evening or your afternoon pivots because mm -hmm. of all these different people and interactions. And that's what um, the discussion was about, creating those pivots so that everything's dynamic, so you're not fixed with someone talking at you. Mm -hmm. These aren't lectures or um, uh, uh, talks, these are discussions. Yeah, absolutely. And having spoken to some of the hosts and guests from the first season, um, the, the feedback's been fantastic and the space is very collaborative in its look. And I guess that engenders in, in a collaborative approach to the festival. Um, 
some of the people talked about how it was quite experimental and um, you allowed the evolution of the festival to happen quite organically. Tell me about why you adopted that approach and what did you learn from that process? Did anything surprise you? Yeah, lots of surprises. There's lots of surprises. Um, back in the 2020s, nobody really knew what, how uh, online at such scale mm. was going to turn out. Or, and still, really, most people don't know how it's going. Whereas coming from a events um, background and hospitality, where you're always, you, you plan for the worst, basically, mm. and I uh, hope the best. Um, so you always, you're always working on the assumption of things like weather and other factors which are way beyond your control. Mm. So I have that kind of mentality to everything, the way I approach everything. In the, and that's how I approach this in the same way, i.e. how do you develop something? How do you allow things to, de to develop on their own as well as control them? Mm. You know? So you help them, you nurture, that's the word I'm mm. looking for. It's a, it's a nurturing event. Yeah, um, and it seems like it from the community that you've nurtured here in season one. Yeah, and it, uh, we, people came and joined it because they were looking for something different to engage or to show mm. some work or show their way. And what we found was people have adapted the way they're interacting online now. So we have like professors who have been teaching 40 years. They have completely changed their entire mm. approach to online teaching. Mm. And, that's, and, that is, and that's fed into their universities and into their writing. And it's really interesting to watch this happen. So we've picked up a lot of ways of, lots of tips and understanding how people are moving around the space. And that's going to be the new, the new way of working, basically. Uh, and yeah, so it's very exciting. It is. That it the curve. And exciting that it kicks off all again next Tuesday, the 21st. Next Tuesday. Um, yep. Tell us a bit about what you've got in store for this season. It's all free. That's really important to know. And you're welcome to come and host if you wish to host. The oh, brilliant. The tables are there. We have 50 tables uh, available. You've got room. And, uh, yeah, yeah, 50 tables, up to 15 people per table. So it's, uh, yeah, it's lots of opp opportunities. Fantastic. Uh, we've got like, trans uh, we have, like, fan fiction next week. And uh, we've got David Lee Morgan, who's the UK Slam Champion, BBC Slam Champion, talking about how to, or helping you choose the right words, mm. shorting the sentences, you know, like where you, you have to capture a whole book in a single line in poetry, that kind of stuff, really. So that's really useful for anyone, you know, whether you've got exams coming up or you've got a job interview or something like me, just rambles too much. <laughs> you've, got, uh, you've got music, uh, Mikey Kirkpatrick, fantastic musician. Um, I can see there's tell a joke table here as well, table two. Tell a joke, always a tell a joke table. There's always, it's important to, jokes are, humour is sort of undervalued in my view. Mm. You always bring a pun. If you come in, bring a pun. <laughs> that table. Uh, yeah, people come and go on that table all the time. Fantastic. Really fun, that table. Uh, yeah, so yeah, there's lots going on. So finally, um, if I want to come and host a table, if I want to come and join as a guest, how, how do I get involved? Drop us a message mm -hmm. um, on this Tuesday and probably the following. I'm going. I'm running on table one. I'm just going to sit there and uh, people who wish to host. Yes, hosting a table. What's, in, what's involved and realise it's not. You're not there to lecture people. It's, I mean, you can lecture people if you wish to, but it's not really that kind of forum. It's more about engagement. You want to hear back as much as you want to share, mm. um, and also to overcome a lot of the confidence issues. Because a lot of people have got problems online. A lot of people are, are worried. Even those who are really experienced, I was really surprised how many people said, oh, I'm really nervous about, you know, blah, blah, blah. Even though they just stand up in front of lecture halls, yeah. 200 people. <laughs> so it's a really interesting, it's because of the intensity. Mm. And really it's about, I mean, I was the same. You know, it's not like I'm sort of unique, I'm sort of different. Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a skill to be a TV reporter, I think, a real high skill. But to, to run these kind of events, I think it's more about being natural mm. and allowing and just enjoying yourself. And, yeah, there yeah. definitely is an authenticity about the space and about the discussion festival from what we've heard from previous guests and hosts. And I guess just to be aware that, you know, winter is coming back round again, obviously it's kicking off next week. Um, 
our vaccination levels are, are very good in the UK, but we do um, we are still seeing cases rising, um, and we have guests at discussion festival from all over the world. So. Yeah, yeah. If we are preparing for maybe a little more disruption during winter, it seems that the discussion festival running from now until Christmas is a really good place to be able to come regardless of whether you're shielding or having to self-isolate. I don't want to just avoid the television. <laughs> just, sort of, just, you know, it, you know just come, it's just like going down to a pub mm. or going down to a cafe or just going to the community hall. Just come and join and just flick around yeah. and that's the important part is you just hop around you're not hooked into one table and that's what creates the dynam dynamism you know and that's the bit i keep trying to bang home and especially at the beginning of each evening i always say just move around yeah just move around yeah you know a friend of mine just as a little when a little friend, a friend of mine was on a coaching table he was loving it he only came in for five minutes. His wife went mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> he rang me the next day to tell me, my wife, Michelle. And uh, anyway, he came in for five minutes. It ended up being an hour later. And he was on this coaching table. But he kept looking at the He said, what's K-pop? What's K-pop? <laughs> and I know what K-pop is. It's a South Korean mega trend. Yeah, it is huge. I don't really, I don't really understand it myself. Anyway, but we had a K-pop table for three weeks, which is Han um, coming in from Taiwan, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, no, South Korea, she was. And uh, it was brilliant, and it was full of that table all the time. And my mate was just like, I want to know what K-pop is. And he had to ring me the next morning to find out what K-pop was. But he, didn't, he couldn't pull himself away from the coaching table. Mm. And I was just saying, we should just left. We should just done it. You know, like, and, uh, so, yeah, so there's that fun. And that's what I find most people have been coming back to. There's about 100 comments on the comments page. Yeah. So it's worth a look. And you from lots of different kinds of people as well, different backgrounds, yeah, yeah. some academic some not um I, and i think that's the kind of one of the most exciting um aspects of discussion festival you you don't know who you're going to meet you might come in for k-pop and leave having learned about poetry or um how one to table last year sorry to cut across yeah you. one table we had the, uh, some people from egypt from south africa from mexico from the us china about four it was um and and england and they were talking about, I think, what I remember rightly, they were talking about uh, overseas volunteering. Oh. So it was like a complete, I just went onto the table just to see how everyone was getting on. And it's just an amazing discussion going on from people all over the world. It was just fabulous. Very magical. Wonderful. Which I didn't know of. <laughs> <laughs> Well, John, I will be coming on the 21st. I'm really looking forward to it. Remind us again, what time does it kick off on Tuesday the 21st? 11 o'clock, 21st, Tuesday the 21st, uh, BST, British Standard Time, 7pm. And uh, it's free to come in and it's free to host. Just John M at platform hyphen with a number seven dot com. If you want to drop me a line and say hello. Perfect. And, uh, yeah. And you're all on social, all the, all the big social media channels. We can follow you and check out the tables and keep updated there. Excellent. Perfect. Thanks for having me, Ali. Lovely to chat to you this morning, John. Take care. Thank you very much. Bye. Take care of yourself. Bye.